All right, I got all the newest fragrances of December coming up. Hey, Fragrance family, I'm Dave, and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a video on the newest fragrances of December. Now, these are all the fragrances that were released or announced in December, and I have an ongoing series that I go through this every month, and I split it up into two videos. So these are the newest ones, but I also have a second video of the newest ones that I think are the best or my favorites called uh, December Hype or, you know, the Hype New Fragrances, whatever. Definitely go check that one out first if you haven't already to see what I think are going to be the the best of this month. But today's gonna be a video about all the newest fragrances that I didn't mention for the hype video. These still might be really good, but um, I'm just not sure about some of them. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll start off with any celebrity fragrances and get those out of the way. There is a Nina Ricci, Nina Rose Garden fragrance coming out. And I consider Nina Ricci, I guess, a celebrity house. I'm not really sure. It's a whole line. I guess it's not really a celebrity fragrance anymore. This one was created by Olivier Cresp, so maybe it's good. I like Olivier Cresp a lot. Um, this one has notes of pear, neroli, vanilla, and musk and grass. So that could be good. So we'll, I guess we'll see. All right. So I guess that's all the quote unquote celebrity fragrances. Thank God. All right. Next, let's go to some flankers. Now, Gucci has a new flanker to Gucci Guilty, which is Love Edition uh, 2021, if I'm reading Roman numerals correctly. <laughs> That sounds right, since it's coming up into 2021 soon. And of course, they have Poor Ohm and Poor Femme. All right, Gucci Guilty Poor Ohm is a modern masculine creation that opens with invigorating Italian lemon, white florals, uh, honey tones, orange blossom, and French lavender. Poor Femme is an aromatic floral scent that has citrus notes, zesty bergamot, spicy pink pepper, and lilac. All right, next is a new one from L'Artisan Parfumeur, and that is uh, Passage uh, d'Enfer Extreme. Pronouncing that wrong, I am sure, but this is an extreme version of the original uh, Passage d'Enfer, Passage d'Enfer, which literally means gates of hell, apparently. <laughs> Great. <laughs> This one is made by perfumer Olivia Giacobetti, who is a great perfumer. I really love her stuff. Notes in this are red lily, jasmine, incense, sandalwood, and vanilla absolute. So that sounds really good. Next is a new one from Guerlain, and that is La Petite Robe Noir Eau de Parfum Nectar. <laughs> It's a flanker of a flanker of a flanker. It's a flanker of the original La Petite uh, Robe Noir from 2012. This new variant promises an optimistic, mischievous, and seductive little black dress, a symbol of modern uh, Parisian fashionista. Okay. Notes in this are bergamot, almond macaroon, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, honey, patchouli, and tonka. I'm sure that's gonna be fantastic. All right, next is a new fragrance called Ellie Tahari Night Eau de Parfum. And this is a new one that I haven't tried before, but it looks pretty cool. It's got like a crocodile on the front there. Um, I don't really know that much about it. It's from a New York fashion house called Ellie Tahari. Notes in this are bergamot, orange, saffron, rose, fig, iris, amber, oak, moss, and patchouli. So could be good. We'll see. All right, next is a new line from Marc Jacobs, and it's the Spring Collection, which is Daisy Spring, Daisy Love Spring, and Daisy Oh So Fresh Spring, which uh, I'm not going to go over them, but all of these are aromatic, fresh, uh, floral scents. And um, these look, you know, kind of run-of-the-mill, generic Marc Jacobs scents. Next is a new one from uh, Louis Vuitton, which is Etoile Filante. Whew. Man, French is really tiring me out, man. <laughs> and this is a new one for their line. I really like this line. It looks so cool, and I want to try this one. It's made by perfumer uh, Jacques Cavalier uh, Bellatrude, if I'm saying that correctly. Notes in this are strawberry, osmanthus, magnolia, jasmine, and white musk. Um, so yeah, check that one out for sure. Next is a new one from uh, Zadig and Voltaire. This is Us which is made to, to be kind of a universal type of fragrance with no gender, no age, and no boundaries. It's described as a sensual and explosive fragrant accord in which sandalwood shines, conceived as a fragrant equivalent of a cashmere sweater, an emblematic piece of uh, Zadig and Voltaire clothing. Notes in this are sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, and musk. Next is a new one called Golden Oud from the house of a Mizen Seer, which I've never heard of before. Really cool. This is made by Alberto Morias. <laughs> <laughs> Perfumer, so we'll see how it is. Um, this is supposed to be an oud-based fragrance. Um, pretty neat. It says the perfumer got the inspiration for this creation at the moment when he enjoyed the peace and quiet of a summer evening uh, by Lake Geneva and caught the perfume of passersby, sensual and subtle, and at the same time, heavy and intense. It's a woody leather scent, and notes in this are incense, Bulgarian rose, um, oud asafi, which looks like that's a... Um, 
uh, Synthetic Note, Papyrus, Amiris Wood, and Cetalox. Next is another line of fragrances by Joe Malone, and that is Zara Emotions, the Lullaby line, or Le Petit Lullaby, and uh, the Golden Lullaby are the two fragrances in this line. Now, I'm not exactly sure, but this looks like this is either made for babies or made um, to, I guess, remind you of babies. They're eau de colognes in concentration. Le Petit Lullaby is a musky fragrance with notes of pear and musk, and the Golden Lullaby is warmer and more intense. Uh, with notes of pear, ambrox, and musk. And they're actually pretty inexpensive too at $49. Pretty cool. All right, next are two new fragrances from the house of Memoirs, which is a new boutique brand that came out in 2018 in London. That is Isla Rose and Gzal. Gzal, Gzal. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know how to pronounce that one at all. That's someone's name, apparently. A Middle Eastern influencer, Gzal uh, Wedhawia. Man can't pronounce that at all. All right. Isla Rose has notes of red rose, red berries, jasmine, magnolia, cardamom, raspberry, oud wood, sandalwood, amber, leather, musk, and vanilla. And that is an extrait uh, de parfum. Gzal has uh, notes of bergamot, maple, licorice root, vetiver, guayac wood, amber, musk, and tonka. All right. A new brand is coming out called Icon, and they're releasing six fragrances in their line. They're uh, vegan, cruelty-free, and responsible, they say. One of the things they take pride in is that they have responsibly sourced materials that they use, and they, they advertise that. Um, these six fragrances have a, a real broad range. I'm not going to go over all of them, but it is Icon 511, Icon 709, Icon 807, Icon 906, Icon 910, Icon 914. There's a lot of them in here. Some of them are woody, some of them are fresh, some of them are spicy, some of them are floral, um, and they look pretty cool, as you can see from the notes and the B-roll. I think um, these could be pretty cool. I'd like to try these. All right, British brand Ormond Jane has released three new fragrances, and that is Indus, uh, Zandria, and Gian. There are new fragrances in the La Route de Soie collection. Indus is supposed to be based on a velvety, beautiful rose. Zandria is supposed to be dark, dusky, and delicious. And Gian is supposed to be um, hypnotic and woody. Miller Harris has two new fragrances. That is uh, Velvet Cherry and Black Datura. Velvet Cherry, obviously a cherry fragrance. Other notes in this are Amber, Cashmere Wood, Violet, and Cypriol. Uh, Black Datura is a hypnotic scent based on Datura flowers. Other notes in this are Ylang Ylang and Musk. Jovoy Paris has released a new fragrance called 21 Conduit Street, which is a new lavender fragrance. Other notes in this are Grapefruit, Bergamot, Rhubarb, Fir, Balsam, Amaretto, uh, Tonka Bean, and Broxen in Modern Woods. French line Anatole uh, Le Breton has a new fragrance called Fleur Cachet, and it's a new vanilla fragrance. It's loaded with spices and precious woods. Some of the other notes in this are timid pepper, turmeric, fenugreek, wow, uh, sandalwood, cedar, and parabalsam. Fenugreek is a really interesting note. Apparently it helps women who are lactating produce more milk, but it also smells like marijuana. <laughs> I wouldn't know this from experience. I actually don't really know this from experience. <laughs> Fenugreek I do anyway. All right, artist Andrea Mack has a new fragrance called Light Source, which is a unisex fragrance. Notes in this are lemon, pink pepper, petty grain, biggerod, black pepper, star jasmine, green fig, and crystal rose. All right, there are three new fragrances from Dawn Spencer Hurwitz. Wow, she is staying busy. <laughs> she has like a collection of fragrances every time, every month I'm uh, on here. So three fragrances, there is Le Serval, which is a new um, menagerie of animalic fragrances, Adrenaline and Scorched Earth, and Coverture de Verre. Pretty cool. A lot of information here. Um, I couldn't really find all the notes in one spot, but these look pretty cool. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online retailer that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted price. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. All right, and that is all I have for the new fragrances. Not a whole lot came out for the month of December. Doesn't surprise me. They probably uh, released all their fragrances earlier and expecting people to cash in for <laughs> Christmas. So yeah, we'll see how 2021 goes. Hopefully there's gonna be a lot better releases. But I think overall, 2020 is wrapped up. Thank God. Whew. But yeah, these are all the newest fragrances for December. What are your favorites? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.